So, we've got season two. I know you've got a, already started. I can't ask you about that. We're talking about oh, season you one. Can ask. Oh, you can't say anything. Well, I don't know. I don't even know what will come out of my mouth. So, I've always wondered, how do you guys do the scenes with uh, Norm? Because he's kind of my favorite you character on the show. Claire. <laughs> I know what you're asking. How did I do that? Well, like, do they have, like, a tennis ball that they just kind of, like... You no, know, they, they, they set something so, it's so that you have a point of view or where something is, and then it's gone. Uh, my preference is not having anything there, and that's usually the way we do it. I'll mark an X, or I know that's probably where his eyes are. And then I truly do imagine it being Norm. <laughs> is he on set reading lines, or is it just like script supervisor? Uh, not when we're filming. Okay. Uh, well, actually, that's not true. Sometimes Norm is there, and sometimes he isn't. There will be someone uh, standing in for him. But my, my preference is to have him there, but I'm, I'm from the old school. You know, it's, it's called acting, and so uh, you can tell me that Barack Obama is there, and he's not there, and I will play like he's there. You're talking to him like, Mr. President, I have to tell That's you. That's right. <laughs> so, you've got, you've got your mother on the show, you've got a lot of responsibility, like you're, you're kind of the linchpin for the whole uh, cast. How is it in real life? Well, on the show, I say she is the adult, and it's a, a mothering spirit about it. But apart from being uh, shooting and you know behind the, the scenes and all, I think Penny, I'm speaking of myself as she's I'm here. I think I, ha I just have a mothering spirit, but it's more playful with this group, um, even though I could be a mother in this group. The, the team of actors with me, they make me feel like we are really all on par as friends. Uh, we're treated, we treat each other more as brothers, sister kind of thing. Uh, we bounce things off of one another. We play, we play, and we play. And we whine and we dine. So we actually like each other's company. So you can't have your mother around if you're doing all that. So I'm, I'm not trying to be anybody's mother. I'm already a mother, and that's, that, that's enough right there. So how do you feel about uh, Penny's growth as a character from the beginning of the show to the end of the se first season? Well, first of all, I had no idea last season what arc yeah. would be for Claire. And so where she would start, I knew, but not where she would end. Um, <laughs> I would look at the script and go, okay, what is he going to have me do? Oh, my. Oh, okay. All right, Seth. Penny. Oh, okay. This year, I think we're really going there. <laughs> no, we're really going there this season. Uh, and then if you could have one character from Star Wars or Star Trek come into the Orville, who would it be? James Earl Jones. Would you want James to join the show, or would you want Darth Vader on the show? Darth Vader. Yes. With his voice. Yeah. Absolutely. And then, what's been your favorite part of first season? The friendship. Truly. I never... I've been on a lot of shows, and we've all been friends. This is different. It's different. I mean, you're... It, on other shows, you don't have to see anybody, and, and then you pick up where you, you know, left off. Here, we're, it's a great bonding group of people. It's a friendship. Thank you, Claire.